Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. And uh, today I'll be showing you how to install a room called FlyMe. And uh, this room is basically for uh, the device which is named as Meizu. I am not sure how do we pronounce it. It is Meizu or Meizu. So uh, recently they have uh, released a build for OnePlus 3T and OnePlus 3. They have many devices which supports this room and. Uh, Actually, it is based on Chinese ROM and it is similar to Hydrogen OS which we normally get on OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T Chinese versions. So guys, today I will be showing you how to install that and what are the features which are included in that. And I have also mentioned the link in the description below. You can download the files from there. The method will be the same for OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T. And uh, for all OnePlus devices, I have mentioned the link in the description. If you have OnePlus 1, OnePlus 2, OnePlus 3 or 3T. Or if you have OnePlus X also, you can give it a try. So I'll show you the file which I have downloaded uh, for this. So if I go to storage and I show you, it's flyme underscore OnePlus and the model name of the OnePlus device. So I have downloaded for OnePlus 3. I have uh, and I'll be also making a video on OnePlus 3T to check what are the differences in that. So guys, to start with that, make sure your device has TWRP uh, installed and your device should be unlocked. So if you have TWRP recovery installed and you just have to go to TWRP recovery and flash this room. If you guys doesn't have TWRP recovery, you can check out my other videos how to install TWRP recovery. So guys, further we'll start now. We'll first reboot a device to TWRP recovery. So after your device boots to TWRP recovery, uh, guys, you have to completely wipe your data because it is based on Android 6 and uh, still they don't have the Android 7 built as of now. So first what we do is we go to wipe, advanced wipe and select everything over here leaving internal memory and USB OTG. Swipe to wipe and after this is done, we go back and we install the room. So for that, we go down and locate the room and swipe to install it's a beta version guys uh, so you can find some bugs in this but we'll see uh, after installing we'll just take a look uh, what all things are available in this room so now the process has been completed so guys also you have to do one thing after this is done you just reboot your device again to recovery and uh, after your device uh, reboots to recovery you just have to uh, do a complete wipe that is factory reset or else uh, your device won't boot up and uh, for booting it takes uh, somewhere around 10 to 12 minutes so first we'll reboot our uh, recovery once and again do a factory reset so now your device uh, boots to recovery and this will also wipe a complete data uh, from internal memory so guys make sure you take a backup so i click cancel over here and uh, allow modification then do a factory reset so now I reboot my device and it will take somewhere around 10 minutes. So we'll wait for device to reboot. So now your device boots up after uh, somewhere around uh, 10 to 11 minutes it took to boot up. So uh, you have multiple language over here. You can select English uh, according to your preference. So what I do is I select English and continue now. I select the region, accept terms and condition and uh, I'll also connect to my Wi-Fi network. So once the device is connected to Wi-Fi, I continue and you can see you get an option here to register with their uh, official account. So I won't be doing that, I'll just proceed further and uh, I'll skip this step. And next you get an option to select theme. So what I do is I'll go with the standard one. I'll disable join user experience improvement, get started. So now your device is ready to start. We just move further and start. Okay, many things are here in Chinese. So we skip this also. It is similar to uh, Hydrogen OS, which we normally have on uh, OnePlus devices, Chinese variants. So in this first thing, you also get a camera of Hydrogen OS and uh, I think that's a good thing about it. We are getting the camera uh, from official OnePlus uh, software. They also have a secondary camera of their own and uh, this also works good. 
will try to do this okay both the cameras are working fine in this and uh, we go to settings we'll check what uh, software version it is based on so you can see device name is oneplus and uh, model number you can see over here emis and uh, android version 6.0.1 it is still based on 6.0.1 build number says flyme 6.7.5.8 r beta version so this is the thing guys this is how flyme os looks and this was the installation process which ha we have completed just now so now we'll just take a look what all the things available in this room so here is a folder called flyme tools in this you have ebook map toolbox calendar calculator files weather and update update i am not sure whether we can uh, install updates via ota let's check if i get any update we'll advise you guys so first we go to settings and we see what all the options available in settings so here you have notification and status bar in status bar <clears throat> and in this you have under status bar you also have a display network uh, speed tinted status display battery percentage and uh, under personalization you have uh, flyme style icons bold system uh, fonts i think this will restart the device so i am not uh, applying this you have themes option over here you can select themes from here you have wallpaper fonts you also have a easy mode if you want to enable or if you want to save your battery life you can select uh, easy mode and fingerprint and security will just check fingerprint works uh, good or not so now i place my finger here and i'll just try to complete this process because it is not that accurate but we'll see if, if it gets unlocked in first attempt so i just lock the device first oh it's very quick so guys it is uh, fingerprint is really quick on this you can see you just have to touch it and uh, it opens up so next we go to fingerprint security then you have in personal you have Meizu account Meizu or I am not sure guys I don't know how to pronounce it so next you have others location storage language and all these things are basic things so now in this uh, guys you won't be getting uh, google applications for that you have to install using google installer and uh, I'll be showing you how to install that uh, first I'll just go to unknown sources and enable unknown source first so that I'm able to install third party applications so what I'll do is I'll connect my device to laptop and push the file of uh, Google installer so the file has been pushed into it now what i'll do is i'll go to files and i'll install the apk from here so i click on install continue install open so from here i'll uh, install all the google applications which are required for play service or the google play store so i click install So now everything has been successfully installed and uh, you will be having Google Play Store available here. So what you have to do is you have to uh, connect with your Google account. I will do that and get back to you. First you may get an error of uh, Google Play Store unfortunately closed and uh, something like that. If you guys get that error just uh, proceed further and uh, once you use your Google account you will be able to update the Google application which is available here the Play Store. So after that is done and uh, you'll be able to use your Google account properly. So now you can see I have a Google Play Store, working Play Store available here. I go to my apps, all apps or uh, if you want to download any app, I'll just click on this and install now. So you can see the app also starts uh, downloading and uh, it will be properly installed without any issues so you have google play store working now you will also get your contacts synced 
you can see yes i have all my contacts available now so guys uh, this is uh, fly me os and then to go to notification and we'll see uh, it is something like this uh, in notification drawer you get options of your wi-fi bluetooth uh, vibrate airplane mode location nfc do not disturb and one more feature which i like this that is smart touch so if you enable this you get a few options here to modify your uh, system so i don't want to modify i'll just show you a quick look so this is a smart touch if you press on this it will go back and if you slide down you get a notification over here so if you again click it goes back so there are a few customizations which you can do in this so if you guys want to give a try on this you can uh, install the same way i have installed you can also check the description below i'll end up this video here uh, because it is almost reached 32 minutes so i have to do lots of editing and uh, that's all in this video guys hope you like the video thanks for watching have a great day ahead